In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, corrections for current. The speed and direction in which a boat travels are not due only to the motor or from the sails. They're also affected by the movement of currents. The speed of a boat, as it would be measured in still water, is called the speed through the water. The true course and direction of a boat are called the speed and course made good. So let's just make a note of those two things. So the speed in still water is what we call the the speed through the water, but the true course and direction are what we call the speed and course made good. So let me give you an example. If the speed through the water of a boat is um, five knots in a northerly direction, we can represent that by drawing a line five centimeters long in a northerly direction. So this line represents a boat traveling through the water at five knots. Now if for example the water is not still but there's a current flowing in the water, say a current of five knots in an easterly direction, what we can do to represent that is to actually add another arrow Again, a length of five centimeters. Did I really draw that five centimeters? Yeah. A length of five centimeters in an easterly direction. So here we have the speed through the water of 5 knots, the current of 5 knots in an easterly direction. We might want to then determine what's the speed and course made good. So the speed and course made good is the speed and the course that takes into consideration the speed in the speed through the water of the boat as well as the current. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that starts at the beginning of where our boat started and finishes at the end of where the current started. So this is the speed through the water. This is the current. And this line here that we've just drawn in is the 
the speed and course made good. So what we do then to work out what the speed actually was, what the speed actually is, the speed made good, is we use our ruler and we measure the length of the line. Now each centimeter represents one knot. So this line is uh, 72 millimeters, 7 point, well, let's say it's 7.1 centimeters. <clears throat> So that represents a speed of 7.1 knots. And to determine the direction, we're going to use our uh, protractor. We're going to place the center spot of our protractor on the starting position of our course made good. We may need to extend that line so that we can read the course and I can see that my course made good in this case is forty five degrees. So that's speed and course made good.